A young cowboy from Montgomery County has to put his roping on hold mm -hmm. while his body heals. He dropped dead of cardiac arrest, but a quick acting colleague saved his life and his doctors are helping make sure it doesn't happen again. Cody can't believes he was born to rope. He's been doing it since he was only three years old. It's not just a hobby, it's, it's a whole lifestyle. Uh, I live, eat, breathe it, um, I have all my life. His days of roping and rodeos are on hold while he heals from a shocking diagnosis of cardiac arrest. My coworker seen me sitting in the truck. He said I was laid out. Um, he thought I was playing a prank on him at first. He was like, oh man, come on, get out of the truck. And then he walked up there and noticed something was wrong. So he laid me down on the ground, actually in the middle of the road and started CPR and started calling an ambulance and everything. Cody had just married his high school sweetheart. After their honeymoon at Palo Duro Canyon, he was feeling on top of the world. The day after they got home, a dramatic and drastic shift in his health came out of nowhere. I talked to him at um, like one o'clock. We were talking about his mom's birthday dinner that was supposed to be that night. And then at 1.05, um, his boss called me and was like, Cody's unresponsive, do you have any idea why? And I was like, I was just on the phone with him five minutes ago. Like, I have no idea why he sounded fine on the phone. Cody is only 22 years old and says he doesn't drink alcohol or smoke, so we still can't believe this happened. Plus, it takes a lot of exercise to be a cowboy. I'm always running, always uh, lifting stuff, just always staying active and in shape. His doctors at Memorial Hermann are doing their part to figure it all out. And the MRI shows that there is some weakness of the heart muscle, the ejection fraction is what we look at, and it was slightly reduced. And that was probably the culprit of what caused the, um, the heart to stop. They turned to Cody's DNA for answers. We did some testing because this is very unusual for someone to just have an irregular rhythm that um, causes a heart to stop. And one of the, one of the things that we did is uh, genetic testing. It is to look for any uh, predisposition based on the genetic testing. And the genetic testing showed that there is a specific gene mutation that can potentially um, cause some of the issues that um, that we saw with Cody. Dr. Marwan Jumin with UT Health Houston and Memorial Hermann says Cody suffered from a serious problem called dilated cardiomyopathy. He and his new bride are still shocked, yet thankful about the timing. Yeah, it definitely would have been a different situation if we would have been hiking, because um, just a few days before we were down in the canyon with no service, hiking 10 miles a day, and even then he had no symptoms or signs or anything. Um, I definitely don't know I could have got him out of the canyon by myself. As horrible as it was, uh, I couldn't think of a better time for it to happen. I mean, even a day or two sooner, uh, we would have been in a canyon uh, miles away from people, uh, no cell phone service. So it was, it was really good that I was with him and he knew to start CPR and to call ambulance and everything. And it was just, it was perfect timing. Doctors implanted a special device called an ICD to prevent this from happening again. It, uh, it's a pacemaker and a defibrillator. So the pacemaker, if it if my heartbeat gets too low, it'll pace it up higher. Or even if it gets too high, it can even pace it lower and slow it down. Um, also, it's a defibrillator. So it detects my heart is in an irregular rhythm. It will shock my heart back to a normal, perfect rhythm. It has had to shock his heart back into rhythm seven times. So it's doing its job. An electrophysiologist at Memorial Hermann also performed an ablation to help keep his heart in the correct rhythm. He's very lucky. I mean, this is, uh, you know, this is something that people don't, don't make it to the hospital. So him being here today and feeling great is, is, is uh, definitely um, great. Cody hopes to be fully healed and back to roping again within a year. Can you believe that talented young man has wow. been through that eight different times That's with his heart? The goodness doctors yeah. figured out a way to keep him mm -hmm. alive. Faith has really helped them survive this up and down roller coaster. So today during Lunch for the Soul, yeah. 1230, meet me online. We're really going to talk to he and his wife about how they've survived all this and what they're looking forward to and, and have to wait about a year to rope again. Oh, well, that's exciting. I'm so happy that he is doing better. Mm -hmm. Yes. So join Melissa, 1230, Lunch for the Soul.